went shopping the other day and found this toy car from the uh, Euro store. It was surprisingly one euro fifty. Uh, I'm still trying to figure that one out. Anyway, um, episode eleven, I built a orc battle wagon. So this time I'm gonna build an orc roadster. Now I know it's not to scale. It's just I like this size because. I just display them on myself so um, yeah before anybody starts complaining that they're not the right size I know they're not the right size I just build them just because I can and I want to so basically what I'm doing right now is I've just taken the back wheels off and I'm gonna add them onto the front to make them more chunky and then um, use some uh, bottle tops to make the back wheels um, I'm using some thin um, foam uh, to um, go around the uh, bottle tops to uh, make like a uh, tank track Just putting the foam onto the um, the bottle tops just to make it look like it's um, tank tracks, and I'll also add some uh, adhesive pearls to it just to give it a little bit more texture. And then uh, I start on the body of the car. So I've used it looks a bit like um, the back car exhaust at the moment. That's from a disused. Um, hose pipe um, connector and I just cut it down to size and uh, stuck it on the car and then I'm just gonna add some uh, little greebles some wires and some bits and pieces using the uh, famous um, baking powder just to uh, give the super glue some more of a bond and now it's just it's time to uh, assemble everything else so that's a piece from an old broken uh, mouse that I'm just going to use as one of the uh, back mud guards and then the black plastic um, I can't remember where I got their, them from but I've just sort of cut the edges just to make them a little bit worn and torn um, I will be using the uh, the Dremel just to uh, give it some cuts and grooves so it looks like it's been in some battles and uh, and the car see in action So there I'm just uh, cutting some uh, dinks and scrapes into it just like I said to give it some more battle worn look to the uh, exterior using the Dremel I did try to use the um, hobby knife but this was a lot safer and a lot faster Now it's on to the cocktail sticks. I'm cutting up the cocktail sticks um, either either side to use as spikes for the wheels and I'm just quickly hot gluing them on to the uh, front tires just to give it a sort of like a, a Mad Max 
sort of look. Looking at um, orc pictures, they always seem to have um, huge exhaust pipes coming out of the engines. So I'm just going to use a, um, a plastic straw, cut it down, um, and hot glue it onto the uh, front bonnet. So once that's done, um, that that I'm just going to stick onto the back is actually from a um, hot glue gun. Uh, one of my glue guns decided to uh, pack in. So like anybody that does this kind of stuff, I took it apart and uh, kept all the little bits inside for um, further projects. Um, so yeah, I'm just using some um, lolly sticks just to um, use as the roof. I'm just gonna rough them up uh, and then stick them down onto the roof. I was going to use the uh, the granny grating, but then I used found this that I had uh, just lying about. It's a um, basket holder for chips, and uh, thought that it looked more like wire mesh than the uh, the other stuff. So I just cut some out, put it onto the uh, windscreen, and then I'm just going to give it an edge with some um, matchsticks just so it doesn't look out of place like it's just been stuck there and then the matte sticks I will eventually paint silver so it looks like the framework of the uh, Orc Roadster then I just keep adding bits and pieces bits of greeblies, bits of this, bits of that just to bulk up the, uh, the rest of the car and then I'm going to move on. I decided I wanted some sort of grabber um, for one side of the car. So I uh, raided my uh, bits box and found uh, it's like a it's like a, a claw or something from um, some playset that I must have got cheap. Um, so I'm just going to cut that up eventually and make it into some sort of grabber.
So that that I was holding first was the uh, trigger from the broken hot glue gun. And then this bit that I'm dismantling now was from some toy playset that I uh, I got cheap from the uh, Eurostore. And I'm just going to um, smash them together and uh, make some sort of uh, claw for it. I'm just going to add little bits of wires uh, and then some more adhesive pearls just to give it that sort of um, grabber hand sort of look. So once all that's been done, I uh, channel my uh, inner artist and uh, roughly draw a quick um, orc skull out of the uh, thin um, foam and then cut it out because every orc vehicle that I've seen always has this sort of um, skull design on it. So I thought I'll just cut it out and then I'll be able to stick it to the uh, roof of the car once everything's complete. So as I was making this and I stuck it down um, I realized that I needed some sort of um, snow plow thing at the front of the uh, Orc Roadster so um, couldn't think of any sort of plastic to use then uh, raided the fridge that's the other half's uh, butter uh, and um, used the lid from the butter for the snow plowy bit at the front of the vehicle Anybody was wondering if she'd noticed that the lid of uh, butter was missing. Um, yes, she did. Uh, but I, uh, I claimed that we had um, ghosts in the fridge, and um, they must have uh, whisked it off somewhere. Um, I, I'm not sure if she believed me, but you know that's the story that I stuck with. So as you can see, I made the uh, snowplow at the front. Then I'm just going to use some 5mm foam board just to uh, use as teeth and then it's all ready for a good prime.
So once all the blue paint's dried, I'll just, like I said, hit um, the rest of the, uh, the bits and pieces with uh, a copper and silver just to bring out the highlights. And that's pretty much it. I used a, a quick uh, bit of rust and some uh, brown wash just to uh, give it some depth. But apart from that, that's it. Uh, if you like what you saw, go back to episode 10, which was the uh, Orc uh, Battle Wagon build. And once you've watched that, why don't you watch some different videos of mine? Um, I do lots of different things. Uh, I'll be gonna be doing a robot for next week's build. So look out for that one. That's actually gonna be a fairy tale. Um, and it's, I'm going to try something different with that one because I'm not going to explain what I'm doing. I'm going to actually read everybody a lovely fairy tale to go with the uh, robot build. So until then, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you next week.